Hi guys, the mighty John Fu here, and I'm going to show you how I managed to get a racing wheel working with Sea of Thieves. So you're probably asking, why would I want to do that? Well, why not? Using a racing wheel to control the helm is actually a lot of fun, and the method I'm going to show you allows you to utilise the force feedback on the wheel, so you can feel when the wheel is centred. Ever since I started playing a few weeks back, I have been wondering if this is possible. So I decided to do some research, and there are currently no existing tutorials from what I've seen, but I did find a suggestion on a forum to try using X360CE, which is an emulator software for an Xbox 360 controller, and after messing around with the software, I eventually got it working. So, you're going to need three things. A racing wheel. I am using the Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel, but this should work for other wheels too, as it's the same principle. The X360CE controller emulation software, link is in the description by the way, and the software associated with your wheel. For me, this is the Thrustmaster control panel. I would also advise to have Sea of Thieves open so you can test it as you edit the controls. Just a quick heads up, for some reason, the X360CE software is a little bugged visually. Some tables overlap, and you can't see what some of the buttons say. We can still work around it though, so it will be fine. Make sure your racing wheel is plugged in. I would say restart your PC with it plugged in, so it's plugged in from the startup. Download X360CE. Once you've downloaded it, open the X360CE software. You may see some issues highlighted in the Issues tab, stating you are missing a plugin. Make sure you click the icon to download the plugins or this will not work. There may be two files to download. I have already done this so they are no longer showing for me. Head to the Controller 1 tab. Make sure to tick Enabled Mapped Device and Get X Input State. Now select Add and your wheel should be visible here. Now launch Sea of Thieves. Load up the game, and then head to the helm. Once you've done that, Alt and Tab back to the desktop. In the X360CE software, navigate to the bottom left, where it says Stick A. This is the binding for the left stick. We are going to bind the movement from the wheel to the X-axis on the left stick on the controller. Click the drop-down and select Axis, and then Axis 1. You will notice now, when you turn the wheel left and right, the colour of stick A will turn from green to red. This indicates that it's working, but there are still a couple of tweaks left to do. Head to the Force Feedback tab. Here, we are going to allow force feedback, so that we feel the bump on the racing wheel when the helm is centred. Click Enable Effects. Then, set the implementation strength to your preference. This will affect how strong that bump is. I would recommend between 25 and 50. We are nearly done. Now, I advise that you can map extra controls if you like. It's as simple as navigating to the button you want to map, click the drop down, and then select Record. Then press the corresponding button you want it to be mapped to. And now for the final step. Close down X360CE and head to the Thrustmaster control panel. This can also be accessed through the game controllers under Devices. Highlight your wheel and select Properties. This will open the wheel settings. Now, the full rotation required to control this accurately would be 1400 degrees. I don't think any racing wheels currently offer that, and mine has a max of 1080 degrees. So, we are going to lower the rotation to allow for quicker turns with less rotation required on the wheel. This means we don't have to turn the wheel so much for the helm to begin turning. It does fall down to preference, but my sweet spot is 300ish, as you don't have to rotate the wheel too much to start turning and you can still turn slow if you like. Finally, head to the Gain Settings tab. If you want to, you can edit the Auto Center settings to have the wheel Auto Center. I do recommend enabling it and selecting By the Wheel, then dial in the desired strength. I tend to use around 10%, so it's not very strong, but just enough. Now open X360CE and minimise it to help performance. And then Alt and Tab back to Sea of Thieves and test the wheel. It should be working and you will feel the bump when the wheel is centred. And that my friends is how you set up a racing wheel with Sea of Thieves. It's by no means perfect, but it will do for now. 
I hope you enjoyed my video and that this method works for you. If you do and you want to help support my channel and watch it grow, do me a solid and leave a like and a sub. Yarg! How do I ignore it? Right click, I think. I can't right click in it. Oh, it's going to be like your other trigger button, I don't know. I'm down, I'm down. Okay. Type in. Suckers. Uh, <laughs> do it, do it. Get <laughs> <laughs> on the cannon, Jordan. Yeah, on the cannon. Yeah, yeah. On the cannon, I want it on. It's done this year. Yeah, yeah, okay.